Hey Harvard, you've done two weeks with us here in Portugal. How, how have you found the training with Try Training Harder? Oh, it's been really nice. Well, the weather's always good. Uh, just uh, perfect, about 20 degrees, so that's the one thing we can't do anything about, but that's nice. Uh, the training has been uh, uh, maybe better than I thought it would be. Uh, I didn't have uh, really any ideas of how I would fit in when I train with uh, other guys which are not disabled in some way. But um, I think I've, I had the options and the coaches have been uh, always being very nice and looking after what, what uh, if there was something that I couldn't do or then uh, find another way to uh, fit me in, in the way that I could be better and I could train. So it's been really good. And, and how do you feel it's helped prepare you for your, your own ambitions and goals of trying to qualify for Tokyo 2020? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm st always looking to be, to be, to be better. And, and, and the main goal for this, uh, for this uh, training camp was to, be, to train smarter and not harder. So, so uh, because I can always put something more on training-wise, but then I just die. I need to be better. And I found that, that having somebody else look at the way I do things gave me some some uh, some really good tips to be better without uh, doing much more effort. So, so uh, because I think effort-wise, I, I have been pu putting a lot on training over the last couple of years and now I need to get better technically uh, and especially in the swim it's been really good and uh, and now today when we, we do transition I suddenly do something I really never had done before so that's really good so I hope that I get I'm getting closer so I just can practice put on more effort now on on the right things and not change my techniques uh, anymore so that's uh, I hope that will we're getting closer to that goal. And have you found it useful being away and being south as well? Obviously, coming from the Faroe Islands, it's uh, it's a longer way to get here. Yeah, yeah. For me, it's just like my body is not is not so good. So, just getting out of the cold is uh, it's very important for me. And what I've actually found out, that I think that I need to do some more camps down south because I train much better and I uh, my recitation how is it called? I recover better because of the warm and I don't have so much pain in my arm and, and my back and, and my knees and everywhere. So it's not the same so I can train better. And how have you found the ability to adapt sessions throughout the week, both, both for the individuals but also your own, uh, own personal needs? Well, uh, it's been much better than I thought I would be. I, I actually thought that I would jump over more sessions than I did. I jumped over one day because of illness and, and last week I had one uh, because of the long back, uh, bike ride, which was maybe a little bit too much for me, <laughs> but you, it was really fantastic anyway. So, uh, so uh, I've, I've done much more work here than I would do at home because of the consistency. Uh, also, with the sessions not being uh, too too long, and you have to time to recover in between, so that's good. What's impressed you, or been impressive for you, the most in terms of the coaching and the and the kind of the tips and the advice? Yeah, I think I think we we talked about it. And I think that, uh, that everyone everyone here uh, feels like they've been seen at their own level, and the coaches have been. Uh, it would be nice to say if you need something more, need something different, just say, uh, give a call and, and we'll find, figure something out. And that makes people feel like, okay, this session wasn't maybe wasn't perfect for me, So, but there was a coach that sees that and, and, and tries to help you uh, make it better. Uh, fulfill the, the potential better. So that's a that's that's the difference uh, between uh, this camp and the other camp I've been on before, where we just just did and, and that's it. Uh, so you get the analysis analysis also always uh, and and the questions about what can how do you feel? What do you do you feel you did it okay? Could you do it a little bit better? Do you feel that? What could we do to make it better? So you always. 
the brains have to work a little bit, yeah, instead of just the legs. How do you feel your uh, your plan has adapted or evolved um, going forwards now from the two weeks you spent here? Well, I, I, f I feel more at ease that I, when I, c I come home, I feel I can uh, pick up my own coach's uh, plan and, and uh, I think I I'm, I'm, will be better at fulfilling the, 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 total, the plan for the week and just without changes. That's, uh, that's something I've been thinking about I will be better at. So I do all the sessions and I will, I will do them better. So I would, what they were meant to do for me, I will get. <coughs> yeah. So that's, uh, I hope to, uh, that will be the goal there. And then finally, what, one last question. You talked about uh, the hashtag believe in striving and then achieving. Yeah. And you made some really great points about, about how, how that applies to you. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about how Believe, Strive, Achieve really impacts your own attitude and approach to training as well as other people's. Well, I think uh, belief in general uh, is something people must have. Uh, belief can be a lot of stuff. You could believe, believe in yourself as many people think, but I, I don't have 